Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich. I'm going to check out Portable Apps at portableapps.com. This is a bunch of applications that are offered for free that you can put on a USB stick and bring from computer to computer running Windows and uh, have your own set of applications. And it's pretty neat, so I'm going to show you how it's done. When we go to the portableapps.com website, and I'm here right now, we click on Suite. Now I'm, there's the standard version, which is 89 megabytes, and then there's a light version, which is 30.4 megabytes. I'm going to download the light version and see what happens. Now, uh, before I continue, I'm just going to say I'm using a. Uh, I'm going to install this on a SanDisk 512 megabyte USB stick, which is uh, pretty common. Most people have at least 512 megs on one of those these days. So I'm going to go ahead and download the light version here. It will go to the SourceForge website, which it's attempting to load at the moment. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and save it. And uh, in a moment, I'll show you what happens when we launch the application. Okay, I finished downloading, and I have an icon on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and double click it. And I'm actually going to now it says install to root directory on portable device on my computer that happens to be drive G removable disk that's my uh, USB stick so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that so it's just G drive on your computer if you decide to do this it's wherever your uh, USB stick drive is may not be G maybe another letter I'm gonna go ahead and install it there this is gonna take a little bit to install since it's transferring it to the uh, drive so I'll be back in a second and we'll check it out. Okay, I've successfully installed portable apps to the flash drive. Uh, just as a note, it took a really, really long time to do it because it's transferring data to a USB stick. It took at least about 15 minutes, so just a word to the wise. It did complete, it just took a long time. So anyway, let's go to my computer and then to the removable drive, which on my computer's drive G what we've got here is two folders and an icon the documents folder if we go in there looks just like the Windows XP my documents folder with music pictures and video they're currently empty obviously and then there's a portable apps folder and these are all the applications that are currently on the drive and then we have down here start portable apps we will double click that and there it is let me just close this window first and bring portable apps back up which is accessible by a small taskbar icon that appears little arrow in a gray circle there uh, if you'll notice at the bottom it'll say how much of your flash drive is in use and how much is free which is nice if you click this X it will close the menu entirely including the taskbar icon on the right side here we've got things that look very much like the Windows XP start menu and on the left We've got our applications. Uh, let's launch the Abbey Word Portable, which is a word processor. And there it is. I'll do up a quick document here. And then I'll click File and Save. Then I will select the Documents folder on the flash drive. I've already got a test document there. I'll just overwrite this one. And then it's saved. We'll close that. Uh, next, I'll show you Thunderbird, which I've already uh, configured previously, but I'll just launch it to show you what it's like. If you already have Thunderbird on the computer, by the way, that you're using, this is okay. It will not interrupt the uh, existing installation if there's a local one, aside from the one on the flash drive. Put in my mail password and click OK. It'll log in and check. I don't have any mail currently. That's fine. Close that. And then afterwards, I will close the Abby, uh, excuse me, the uh, portable apps menu by clicking the X down here. Uh, now what I'll show you next is how to add applications. There are quite a few. We'll go back to the website and we'll check it out. Okay, we're back on the portableapps.com homepage. At the top left here, you'll see a link that says Applications. We'll go ahead and click on that. There are a bunch of applications here. This is not complete. They, uh, the developers have said this. 
and that's okay because that means there are more apps coming which is good I'm going to download a utility at the bottom here which is called 7-Zip. 7-Zip, if you've ever used a utility like WinZip, this is kind of similar to that. I'm going to go ahead and download it, so I'll click download now. It'll go to SourceForge and prompt me to download. I will save the file to my desktop and click save. It's a small file, so I'll go ahead and wait until it's done. Just be a moment here. And it's finished. So I will go ahead and as the icon, I will double click it. Now where you install it, it recommends to put it in the portable apps directory on the flash drive itself. And I'm going to do that. There's a little icon on the right here. I'm going to click that. I'm going to expand, go to my G drive, and then just single click the portable apps directory so it's highlighted. I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to click install. Now whenever you install an application, even a small one, because you're transferring it to the USB drive directory, it does take time. So I'm going to pause here for a second and I'll be back when the application is actually done. Okay, I have finished the application install of 7-Zip, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to G drive and run portable apps again and see if it shows up. And there it is, right at the top of the list there. I'm going to go ahead and click it. There's the application. This is just a simple archiver program for handling zips and things like that, but it is in there. Uh, a couple other quick notes before I uh, end this one here. In order to remove an application from portable apps, you do not do it from add remove. What you do is that you physically go to the portable apps directory, click the one you want, and then just hit your delete key and say yes. What it will do is once the application is deleted, it will not appear on the portable apps menu anymore. So it's not the traditional add remove that you'd think it would be. That's the way to add and remove applications. Uh, and with that said, I'll just let this go ahead and delete. Being that it's on the USB stick, it obviously takes a little bit of time. So if you want, check out portable apps might be something that you like. It's at portableapps.com.